All right, you know what time it is. It's update time. Post Labor Day weekend updates. Uh, Labor Day weekend ended yesterday. Today's Tuesday. Um, so before I go, before I get started, I'm going to run down to Ocean City. Uh, before I forget, go to toadfish.com and uh, use my promo code realjb 15 uh, they have the coolest stuff. If you're into grilling and all that stuff for the fall, uh, my favorite is their oyster knife. I love this thing. Ashley's favorite is the non-tippable cups. Check this out. And if I want to drink out of it, I just pull it right up. Those cups are perfect for... Uh, for boats, if you got kids that knock stuff over all the time, like ours, our dog, uh, he's a Weimaraner, his name's Haas, he knocks everything over, so that cup is perfect, uh, he won't knock that over, uh, definitely go on there, toadfish.com, realjb15, that'll get you 15% off, and um, yeah, so let's go down to Ocean City, we're going to kick it off from there, uh, lots of cool stuff going on, and some really, really awesome events for this fall, so you don't want to miss the events, they're, they're, it's going to be, yeah. It's crazy fall. All right, I'm going to go to Ocean City. I'll see you down there. If you hear my phone dinging, sorry. That's kind of a pain to edit it out because it's so random. It's text, text messages from my uh, my family. They're asking how the boys' first day of school went. Apparently, it went pretty well, but they were not excited to go back. <laughs> so, all right, I'll see you in Ocean City. The guy in front of me, he's got a camera on. Camera mounted on his chest. He's on a motorcycle. He just sort of did a pretty cool wheelie. Wonder if he does some of those used tube videos too. I don't know. Oh, I thought he was going to do it again. It was pretty cool. I really wouldn't advise doing it, but <laughs> it was pretty cool. Anyway, speaking of dangerous things, uh, Ocean City Beach Patrol released their numbers of rescues this weekend. Just about 400 rescues from uh from the surf it was a uh, crazy crazy weekend if you don't follow me on facebook i posted a thing it was an alert that i got on my phone and it was pretty much like uh strong rip currents just stay out of the water like when the lifeguards aren't there and uh yeah absolutely insane i've never gotten an alert like that and we ended up getting two of them that weekend one on i think saturday and another one on sunday so definitely a wild wild weekend it was from the hurricane that was off the coast that was causing all the rip currents uh first one i'm gonna head to when i get to ocean city i'm gonna go all the way up to the fenwick line there's a holy macaroni that went there and i'm gonna start there and work my way down towards the inlet uh finish it up at the inlet the only place i'm not gonna go is smoker's barbecue uh, if you guys remember they got struck by lightning earlier in the summer they put the trusses up on the side and they're gonna start working on the inside soon so uh, hopefully they'll be open pretty soon at least for the fall i'm hoping if not it, it, they'll definitely be ready for next year so that's always a good sign so all right i'll see you at holy macaroni look at the difference a day makes not a boat in the water and like i said labor day was yesterday coming up on the Fenwick line right now and sun and surf is totally gone it used to be right up here where the condos were uh, but yeah that's been bulldozed and they're gonna start construction on that um, I came up here real quick just because I was kind of thinking about like like previous update videos and things that I've done so my I think it was my first one first or second I can't remember but I did the it was the old phillips that was right here they were starting to take it down and i was talking about it and it plays into another update that i'm doing now uh that's going to be towards the end but the guy that owns it is the same guy that owns the uh new hotel that's going to be going up on the board like right near the boardwalk um, on the bay side so i'll show you that later but just remember that that guy owns it i'll bring it up again at the end when i go over that update and holy macaroni is right up here there's holy macaroni it's right here in front of me right here and they put they're putting in a new one uh if you're familiar like where the home depot is the walmart is and all that 
It's going to be over there. There's a place called Pizza Peel. Uh, it never actually even opened. It was an old pizza place. Then it went to Pizza Peel. That never opened. And then it's going to be Holy Macaroni. And I found out that the Holy Macaroni guy is actually the same owner of Sensations, Sugar Planet, uh, I believe Tap House, uh, 45th Street is in there too. And I believe the other Tap House that's right over here in the shopping center. So yeah, uh, he's got quite a bit. So, all right, next one is actually gonna be a Sensations. It's a weird update on that, I know, but you'll see in a second. I'm trying to think where to next. It's not gonna be the Sensations, I don't think. Uh, the Holy Macaroni that was on 137th Street, those shop, that shopping center has changed hands a couple times. Um, I am doing a Sensations, but there's another one, I think before that. Is it Mother's Cantina? Not the one downtown, it was the other one. Mother's and Keiko's, that shopping center. I think that one's first. Yeah, that one's first. All right, I'll be there in a minute. Trying to time it perfect tonight. I got the drone with me, so I'm going to try to get a cool sunset. Hopefully, if it all goes right. I think it will. All right, remember I was talking to you about the, the Phillips. The old Phillips, the, uh, the one that they bulldozed. Okay, Paramount Kitchen and Bath and the Kaima next door is also owned by the same guy. Uh, this guy owns quite a, quite a bit. Well, he's starting to. He's starting to buy more uh, property in Ocean City. So that also plays into the new hotel, also called the same name. I'll show you where that's going to go and updates on that at the very end. Uh, it's super cool. I got some uh, cool info about it. So, all right, wait till the end for that one. We're going to hit up the mother stuff next. Coming up on the next one. All right, uh, this was the, trying to think, going way back here on this one. Uh, it was a couple years ago. Okay. This new place was built. Uh, K Coast went in there. And this was three anchors it was a restaurant they were supposed to open they had a leak and then they never opened at all and then it sat vacant for a little bit not long at all really and then mother's cantina opened here and then uh i never really saw much on it then they posted down there the properties for sale and for the uh mother's cantina the sign up there was saying to go down towards uh downtown to go to that one so i don't know if this one was open for long if they open it all no clue so now now the new one is coastal creations uh, i don't know much about it. it says it's uh open at 12 great food hiring that's pretty much it so i don't know to, to be honest it doesn't even look like they're open you go check out the menu i guess they have a menu outside. Yeah, they're not even open. Alright, hold on. Let's go check it out. No, they're not even open. Pitch black. Let's see what they got. Drinks first. Crush. Yeah. Pirate Crush. Captain Morgan, Triple Sec, OJ, and Sprite. Eh. Sounds okay. Shark Bite. Yep. Coastal Punch. Wine Selection. Seltzers, Draft Beers, Imports, Domestics. Very small menu from what I see. Onion Rings, Mozzarella Sticks. Eh. Uh, it's like like beachy like oh, well not beachy it's like pub food pretty much coastal land and sea lasagna layered with beef chicken and shrimp that could be okay i guess i got steaks whoa eight ounce filet topped the shrimp in a house white sauce for 60 dollars wow you got wings sides kids stuff it's expensive 
Wow. I don't know. If anybody goes, let me know how it is. Uh, I, they're not open yet. I don't know when they're open. No clue. It says they open at noon, but uh, nope. All right, we're going to go on to the next one. 77th Street is the next one, and that's going to be uh, Sensations. Right next to Bayside Skillet, which is right here, Sensations. It's for sale. Yep. So, yeah. It says renovation clearance sale. It's not. The building's for sale. Uh, they're advertising it as retail, restaurant. So, uh, who knows what's going to go in here. Um, I would prefer to see another restaurant. Something that could kind of compete with everybody else. But I'm sure it's probably going to be retail. Uh, I'm going to keep heading downtown. Let's see. What else is on my list? I got three more updates. Margaritaville, Kaima at the Inlet, and uh, Anthony's. Not the liquor store, the home of the big beef one. That one. All right, so I'm going to keep going down, and then we'll finish it up. I got to hurry up with my updates. The sun's going down. I'm, try I'm trying to speed it up here. All right, real quick, just while I'm driving down there, the Beach Plaza Hotel was the old Phillips that uh, they obviously they closed down. Uh, it's going to be a Margaritaville. And uh, sort of the, the backstory with that, it was back and forth with the town and city officials on this, that, and the other planning and all that. Then uh, the company that's building it, the, there's four brothers of the four two of them died in a helicopter skiing accident it's where a helicopter runs you to the top of a mountain and you ski down they got caught in an avalanche and they passed away this was i think last year the other two brothers took over uh what they were going to be doing then it went back to back to the drawing board and they ended up reducing the size by a lot so it sounds like now it's just going to be just an average hotel like the Hilton over here. It's not going to be anything like super extravagant like they had before. So, which is nice to see. I, I prefer it that way. Keep Ocean City sort of the way that it is. Um, the Beach Plaza Hotel was getting really old. So uh, it's going to be a nice change. It's just not going to be as large as what it was before. Um, I believe there's still, it's still going to have a lot of amenities. It's just not as many as what was planned. So that's a quick update for that. Uh, believe demo was supposed to start on the old beach plaza this, this year sometime. I think this year or next year, but, uh, it's not anymore. Uh, I, I think as of right now, um, because they haven't, they haven't said anything. They haven't planned anything. I don't know if that had anything to do with the brothers dying or what, um, but I haven't heard much about it. So uh, as soon as I do hear anything, I'll let you know. I want to try to get down there and at least watch them uh, take some of it down because it was such an iconic place for here. So uh, the next one that I'm going to pass by is the Anthony's, the home of the big beef. Uh, that one, with that, they... Re they sold it a couple years ago to the Harrison. It was the original owner. He sold it to the Harrison group. And then from there, the Harrison group put it up for sale again. And I believe it sold again. I don't know who the new owner is. Uh, if it's like a mom and pop or somebody that's uh, got their name in down here or what. I have no clue. Uh, next one coming up up here is the Knicks Mini Golf. The Dino Golf. That one is in a uh, legal battle right now with lawyers and courts. Um, I can't really get too much into it. Uh, if you read anything about it, you can look it up and find out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with that. So it's halted right now uh, until they can figure out the legality wise of it. The next update real quick is the old Phillips. It was right here, Chesapeake, or was it Ches Union Chesapeake? Yeah, Union Chesapeake Seafood House. They are closed. They've been closed. They never opened up all year. They are renovating the apartments on the backside for people to live there. Uh, but as far as the restaurant goes, it was a dispute with the lease. Uh, I guess the landlord was supposed to fix a bunch of things. He never did. So they actually ended up auctioning everything inside there. Um, 
and they never reopen. So uh, if you want to support them or check them out, their other restaurant is Fast Eddie's and it's down near, I believe, I believe it's actually across the street from the original Crab Cake Factory, that shopping center. Uh, the Anthony's, the one that I was talking about, is actually this one right here on the corner. Okay, speeding, <laughs> speeding along. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is the Kaima Hotel. And that one I do have to stop and explain. All right, last update. Like I said, I got to speed it up, the sunset. Okay, um, this right here, Ocean's, uh, the Ocean City, uh, the fishing pier. And Sunset Park is right here, right behind me is like the inlet area with the uh, town parking right here. They're turning this into a hotel. They were, uh, they were gonna do a 99 room hotel. The city shut it down and said, no, there's not enough parking. And they tried to buy this lot. They said, you can't do it. So they reduced it to, I think it's like a 60 something, 63, 69, one of those room hotel. Uh, the owner that owns, like I was telling you, was the Phillips, uh, the kitchen and bath place and the Kaima place, uh, Kaima. He is going to have a suite up there. They're going to have a rooftop bar. It's going to be really, really cool. Uh, as far as that goes, it sounds like it's going to be very, very upscale. So um, I don't know when he's going to start building it. He should. I think he's going to start soon. The only problem that they're having now with it is the construction of the hotel. And there's a pier, a little dock that goes out back there. And... The dock is public right now. He's trying to make it private. He owns uh, a certain um, certain amount of space into the water is how it was explained to me. So I don't know exactly how, um, what he's gonna do if he's gonna keep it public, private, I don't know. Uh, but with that said, I'm gonna go to the inlet. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on up there and I'll explain all that when I get there so I can go through my list and make sure I get it right and don't screw it up. Made it, finally made it to the inlet. All right, I gotta speed it up. Uh, let's see, the inlet parking lot is going to be closed. This is a, a big key. It's gonna be closed from, I believe it's September 10th to October 8th. So it's gonna be closed for a while. Uh, it's gonna be closed because of special events. The events that are coming up, uh, this weekend, 9-8 nine, 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 and 9-9 nine, nine is Wine Fest, Wine on the Beach. After that is OC Bike Fest. Uh, I believe it's either September 13th or 14th through September 17th. From there, Ocean's Calling Music Festival starts on September 29th. That's, I think it's a three day music festival that is going to be absolutely huge down here. They tried to do it last year. That massive storm uh, pretty much had to cancel the event, but uh, yeah, it, it was massive. The mayor was talking on the radio the other day and he said that there's been at least one ticket sold in every single state in the US so it's gonna be huge um, they're already trying to figure out like parking and, and all that stuff it sounds like pretty much as soon as you come off the 50 bridge down there it's you're not gonna be able to come down this way at all It's for buses only they're gonna be busing people in. it's yeah it's crazy uh, after oceans calling you got endless summer cruising that's October 5th to October 8th Berlin Oktoberfest. That's another cool one. Downtown Berlin. I know it's not Ocean City. It's close enough. Check that one out. That one's really cool too. Uh, that's Berlin Oktoberfest. That's going to be on uh, October 14th. Uh, Sunfest is October 19th through the 22nd. You'll see me down here. I'll be walking around. Uh, I love going to Sunfest. It's a fun event. They got all the vendors and stuff set up over here. Lots of cool stuff. So definitely check that one out. Sunfest. And... Last one is the Shorecraft October uh, Oktoberfest, and that's October 28th. That's all I got for now. That's all the updates I got. Uh, just because Labor Day's passed, it doesn't mean the summer's over. Tons of events going on. Come on down here if you want to come check out some of these events. There's a lot of good ones. Uh, if you're a local, happy local summer to you. I'm sure I'll see you out here. Uh, I'll be spending my time on Assateague mostly. Well hopefully the west wind this year has been terrible and the flies have been horrible so anyway enjoy the sunset mm -hmm.